Hey Internet, Malthorik here, and I would like to welcome you to Episode 3 of War for the Realm. A uh, quick note before getting started, half the players are gone because of the Mayweather vs. McGregor fight. So, with that said, let's get started. Alright, well, it's morning, so... Uh, we were in... Uh, you guys are in... Yeah. 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 You're in, yes. Oh, did we make it back? Yes, you did. <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't remember things. Do you guys remember the other two hooks I gave you? Yeah, I remember one. One was um the uh, trying to find the cure, which my character is going to insist we try to do. I don't remember another hook. Um, I'm sure I had this written down. Hold on. Uh, and I need to organize my files. <laughs> This is why handwritten notes are probably the best thing. Yeah, screw, pa screw paper. Paper uh, screw losers. Yeah, we're supposed to meet with some kind of thieves guild or something. I've got it written someplace. Yeah, I didn't. I, I wasn't very specific in my notes. <laughs> now, the, no, that was the main plot going to the thieves guild. The side quests are the sick kid. And the the guy the guy who was lost, I think. Correct. It's not the kid. It's so the dwarf. Just needs directions. Huh? Uh, what? What? what it's, it's, it was a shake. What? Dwarf. Oh. Oh. oh uh, dwarf. I know. It's I know. We don't the fuck about dwarves, but yeah, remember because you licked him. <laughs> I was gonna make you roll a constitution check, but I forgot you're immune to fucking disease. I mean, I have inhuman anatomy. That's why I'm a doctor. Boom. So you're Dr. Zoidberg. Zoidberg. Pretty much. Pretty much. But way yeah. smarter. Yeah. Okay, so, um, like I said, my sister's gonna want to go and, um, Find the cure for the sick child, or door, whatever it was. Alright, do you remember what is, the, uh, clerk told you? Um, I, 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 we've got directions to, like, the orcs. The orcs were, like, the, they, they had, they knew about the disease. They maybe had a cure, maybe didn't have a cure. And she gave us directions. Okay. Um, <laughs> So yeah. What cure? Kind of cure yes, for sure. It's important. Yeah. I don't remember much from last time, so just tell me what we're doing. Um, there was supposed to be a cure or something with the with an orc tribe, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Good job, Sorka. I guess. I guess. Okay. So yeah. So we want to go that direction. I assume, yes, everybody's agreeing, is in agreement? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And the orcs were supposed to be in the forest, right? Correct. Forest orcs. Forks. <laughs> okay, I practiced my uh, morning Krav Maga routine, and uh, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Maybe something with something. Um, okay. I might cast uh, magic investment on myself mm -hmm. in the morning. Um, and I think that's probably going to be it. How far away, based on what she described, are we from the orcs? About half a day. About half a day? Yeah, okay. And I'm going to be on that actually. I'm not going to do that yet. I'll do that when we get closer to them. Since it'll only last like five hours or something. I'm not sure what level we are right now. You mm -hmm. guys should still be level five. Yeah. He's five. closer to hitting level six, but not quite there yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well since, it's a, since it's a half day, half a day's, half day's walk to the orcs, maybe we should like check up on, on the woman's missing husband. Yeah, that was, uh, 
That seems a little bit more urgent. I mean, if it's on the way or if it's, if it's relatively close. Like, like, that's where we were going originally, right? And then we got, then we heard a noise or something. No, what are we yeah, doing? yeah. The, the, I think yeah. That's that was originally what we were supposed to be doing, and then there's this, this thing with Ayla running into the forest. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I think I was supposed to be the one, the one heading, heading to the, heading to the wife, and then I saw Ayla run, running off into the forest, and I was like, oh hell. No, I think that was you. Yeah, that was you and Kano, and then you saw Ayla running off into the woods. And you followed after her. Kano joined you, and you guys never got the information on the uh, missing hunter. Okay. Well, so yeah, um, I just so so yeah. I, I probably wake up and and realize, oh oh crap! I was supposed to be finding the missing guy. Oh, I hope he's not dead. Okay, so if we want to go try to do that for, uh... Yeah, like, the, the, the sick guy's probably fine. He survived this long. The, the husband might be dead. We don't know. Um, I walk towards the hunter's wife's house or whatever. Okay. And I knock on the door when I get there. You open to see a, uh, dark-skinned human female. Her eyes are puffy and red like she's been crying for a great deal, and she says, may I help you? Hello, my name is Thalen B. These are my companions, Circa and uh, Nathan. We are adventurers. We heard um, that your husband has been missing at the end. Somebody informed us, uh, and we were going to stop by and see if we could help find him. Oh, thank you. I was worried no one... He'd ne no one would take interest in find him. He left about a week ago and to his favorite hunting spot, just to the west of the village here inside the woods. You'll know you'll find it when you see a um, hunter's nest? Is that what they're called? Like a... what's it called? Uh, um, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? A little platform I up in the tree? Yeah, I, I've got it. I don't yeah. know what it's called. Yeah, I understand what that. I think it's that. called Hunter's Nest. Hunter's Roots, something like that? Something like that, yeah. Um, okay. I, I I ask her for specific directions, as specific as she can give anyway, and then... She gives it to you. I, I, uh, I, I shrug and say, okay, we'll, we'll go that direction and see if we can find him. I, sh I look at the other two people to see if they agree. I nod. Okay, I, I take off towards the direction she described. Okay. So how far away is it from where we are currently? About three hours. About three hours, okay. About a half an hour away, I'm going to cast Magic Vestment on myself. Okay. And then, that is all. Yeah. I'm walking yeah. towards the place with the thing and the stuff. Yeah, sorry, I was just making... Walking towards the place with the stuff. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, three of you. Alright, you guys reach the hunting roost. The invisible hunting roost. You have trees and bushes and shrubs and stuff like that. You can't exactly put a hunting roost in trees on its <laughs> uh, top bottom. Or top over. Alright, so, so anyway, I guess I look around. Um, what are all for that search? Ooh! Wow. Alright, 
you find what looks like a skirmish. A skirmish between who? Make a survival check. Make a what now? Survival. Oh. Sorry, I think my headset's weird, so if I cut out suddenly, it's probably because my wireless headset has been desynced with its uh, connector for some stupid ass reason. Anyways, uh, you see, you believe it's between three very large creatures and one medium sized creature. Hmm. So we, we found tracks of a skirmish, or look, what looks like there was a skirmish there. Okay. Um, uh, can I do a knowledge nature check to identify the tr tracks? Um, so also, just to clarify, the medium sized creature could be a person, right? Correct. Hey, mm -hmm. people can be small too. Right? <laughs> Indeed. Indeed we um, can. I don't know the 26. I don't know what you're Are you mumbling to yourself? Sorry, you didn't get that. I track out along the trolls. I informed the party. I think these are troll tracks. Duh. Hmm? I said duh. <laughs> I, I say, okay, well, do we have any fire? Because we're going to need it. Mm. I have fire. Yeah. Okay. Um, do the, do, does the, do the tracks seem to lead anywhere? Yes, they head off. Grandma's house. They seem to be heading off to the south. Alright, then I go south. I what? follow. That's a trick, guys. Go north. Alright, give me a track check. To follow. Uh, what do I roll for that? Track. Survival. It's a survival. Yeah, that's right. There's a feet code track, but it's survival to track. I will I will aid in her survival check. Alright, you can follow the track south. Dun, they, dun, 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 dun. they start they keep leading for another <clears throat> two miles before they start splitting. During that time you notice uh Faint spots of blood. Oh, that's not good. Sure it is. Um, based on something died. <laughs> based on I mean, something track. needs medical attention. I'm on it. <laughs> based on the tracks, are the, are the um are the bigger tracks following the smaller tracks, or are they carrying the smaller tracks? The bigger tracks are following the smaller tracks. Okay, so how many tracks, when they split, do they all go in different directions, or two of them go one way, one went in a different way? Yes, all three of the larger tracks split up. Okay, where did the, uh, where's the blood and the medium-sized tracks going? Uh, rules. In a week. Roll spot. Check to try and find any blood spots. Eleven. You do not see any immediate blood spots. I mean, you said we did, though. <laughs> it's like you said we saw blood. I said and then... after a few miles, it the tracks start disappearing, but you do notice blood spots or blood drops. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. I, I mean, so we don't see any any tracks whatsoever after a point. Like the tracks have disappeared. They seem to have faded. I guess. Okay. 
Um, I ask the other people if they can follow the tracks because I can't, or follow the blood. So I seem to be incapable of doing that. All right, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, a, a spot check to to find and see if there's a if there is a, a trail of blood we can follow. You find a trail of blood. It is incredibly minute, but you can fo- find a trail and follow it. It's heading uh, southwest. No, southeast. Sorry. Alright, let's go follow this blood. Yep. For every hour Whose blood day. is it? I I taste the blood. <laughs> Does it taste <laughs> like people? <laughs> Does it taste foul? Is ability to identify a creature based on its blood? I'm sure there is. Can I, can I identify a creature based on its blood? Why would you be able to do it? You don't drink blood. I mean, I'm um, a barbarian. Yeah, she's... Look at almost- my collar. She's almost got a point with that. Look, look at my character's collar. It's obvious. I know what blood tastes like. Yes, the United <laughs> who's fine is a barbarian half orc. A barbarian, a, a barbarian half orc is a connoisseur of blood types. So you know what? Ah, she's not drinking any blood. She probably drinks tea. Yeah, I'm just gonna taste that in, and I'm like, yep, that's typo right there. You know what, Sorka? Give me a survival check. Alright, sweet. Circa, you can, from what you. <laughs> craft blood test. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a craft skill, that's a profession skill. Anyway, Sorka, you think the. Don't have. You think the blood has. It tastes quite humanoid with a hint of troll in it. <laughs> what am I, a wine taster? Yes. Like I said, you're the connoisseur of blood types. All right, so I, I can I convey this to the group. I'm like, yep, um, that's that's human and troll blood right there, or okay. humanoid and troll blood. So there's both now in that. Okay, let's follow that direction then. I I start going that direction, <laughs> mm-hmm. keeping my eye out. Yep, follow um, the trail of blood. For every hour, give me a uh, search check. All right. So how many how many search checks would that be then? So just give me a search check, and that's for every hour. Of huh. trying to oh, okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I rolled really well. Also, that's a work. Nothing. You see a body lying off in the distance. The dude's a found dead guy. All right, let's check out this. Let's, let's look at look at this this body then to make sure if we can if we can tell who this is. I you check his vital signs. Give me a heal check. Let's get to it. Uh, uh, boom. Black. Huh. I told you I'm a doctor. Apparently, yeah, I was joking this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> He is alive, but just barely. <laughs> he has... He is missing one of his legs, and he's a huge... Missing a leg! Blap! That's not good. Like okay, uh, um, I make a heal check to stabilize his condition. I'll, I'll throw a heal spell. Uh, oh, oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we're gonna kill this guy! Just give me a second and I'll cast a spell on him. Cast a spell? Yeah, cure. I'll... It's not a big deal. I inform him that he has herpes. That's my heel check. <laughs> Fair enough. Pretty sure that's the problem. <laughs> 12 hit points back. 
should automatically stabilize them as well. Yeah. Everyone give me a listen check. For the party, I, uh, I do, and then I look in the direction from. I hear the, the thumping. Yeah, what oh. direction do we hear? I'm I'm trying to identify the sound from my fantastic listen check. All right, that's true. I have to do that to you. Um, coming from the northwest. Okay, I do the thing. Where I try to tell this northwest by pointing at things. Hopefully, they understand. Yeah, as soon as you point, I just run northwest. I make little uh, hand signs of things walking. I point at northwest. I, yeah. I just bush. I, I continue going northwest. I continue going northwest but this time with my axe out. Give me a spot check. Damn it. <laughs> you know what, I just have to so, because they're not even so, trying to hide. So I'm guessing that these guys are going to see me before I see them, huh? No, just, they're not trying to hide, so I'll make the DC extremely low. It's a little troll. I grew! They only large. <laughs> they only go to large. No, he was just, he was just making were. a joke about how they were medium initially. Oh, yeah, the... See, he's little. He's little and he grew! Oh! oh. He three trolls. So, I, uh, uh, I surgically remove one of the troll's legs and I try to attach it. <laughs> it's gonna work. <laughs> you know what? Give me a heel check to surgically remove the leg. Give me another heel check to surgically attach the leg. <laughs> and let me tell you right now, the DC check to surgically attach the leg is going to be high as shit. So if you don't roll a nat 20, you're going to fail. What? <laughs> do it anyway for mad science. Yeah, I Indeed. literally just do it to see if you actually do it. Because this isn't one of those stories that should go. Alright, you surgically remove the leg. This is one of those stories that should go on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me, uh, let me throw guidance real quick. It's only plus one, but still. Get you plus one. <laughs> Boom. Aww. Aww. You fail surgically reattaching the lid. If you're actually the... Uh... Hey! I didn't... <laughs> I, went, I went perform surgery. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't fill out. <laughs> Uh, um, I would like to uh, fill up five vials um, with Cole's blood. Okay. Good um, idea. Thank you. Um, I'm assuming survival check to do that, or just, it, I mean, you're just putting stuff, you just, no, you're just putting blood in a vial. That doesn't require a check. No. I don't think it's a skill check. <laughs> I don't think it's a skill check. Oh, as long as we're taking two layers, I think I want to. You want a what? Troll tooth. Ah, okay. You have a troll tooth. Alright, um, sweet. Hey, perform sucks. Or the, the sheet's wrong. Let's see here. Boom, okay. I have to put that in my backpack. The, the vials of troll blood. Okay. Um, I go up to the dude and try to wake him if I can. He, okay, this one works. He should be relatively alive. Phew! <laughs> Sorry, Bless you. I'll give him, uh, stuff and things. Seriously, perform breathing. <laughs> you breathe very well. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, Nick had to make a check to put blood in the vial, so you know. Now I, I didn't make him do a check. No, he thought he needed one, though. 
I thought it was For like half a second. I'm like, no, I don't. That's stupid. I talk myself out of being stupid. It happens occasionally. It's rare, though. I am in law school, after all. Oh, yeah, so then you lost all those brain cells. So it's going exactly. <laughs> all right. Um, I will, like, talk to the dude and, like, be like, okay, man. Uh, you live? Hello, what? Hunter, dude. Where am I? I'm hey. in heaven. Hey, you're not, you can't be awake yet. I'm still performing surgery here. <laughs> well, you can't perform surgery on a live patient? You're not much of a doctor. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? What kind of doctor are you? Oh, it looks like a pretty good one. That was the second leg I tried. That first leg was bad. That's a problem. It was a right leg. You needed a left leg. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of doctors I know, actually. Don't know the difference between the left and the right. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um... I, I, I inform him that no, he is not in heaven, that uh, we were sent here by his wife. We assume that he is the hunter that got lost. His wife has been looking for him, blah, 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 blah. We found the trolls. We killed them. They attacked us here. Was it just the three trolls? I think it was, based on what we saw at the site. Yeah, three, three, yep, three, three large creatures. Been, they've been following me for last week. I barely, just the other day, they took my leg. I, uh... I give him some food since he must be starving, but not enough that he will get hungry, or not hungry, excuse me, that it'll overgorge him, is what I meant to say, and some water as well. Um, yeah. So I tell him, like, you know, be careful when you eat something. Um, and then I guess we're going to carry him back, or something. I ask him if he can hop. Can you hop? What do you mean? I give him a leg. He doesn't need to hop. You're gonna, oh, yeah, sure, the yeah. MPT, you're gonna make the amputee hop. I gave him a leg, he's good. <laughs> no, you didn't. Yes, I did. Heel check 26, it was the second leg. I had three legs to choose from. Because <laughs> each troll had a leg? Each it's troll had back legs. Look, it's a, wait, but it's a large, it's a large size leg, though. When he can, like, uh, weigh a mount. <laughs> well, at that point, you just cut off the other leg. But, no, I gave you one chance, and you failed. So. <laughs> See, yeah, you got a 13, so, like, instead of actually attaching it, you just, like, put the leg next to his, next to his stub leg. Oh. Okay, this is what I do. Okay. I, I cut open the trolls surgically, and I see if his other leg's in one of them. In here. Wait, wait, wait! What are you doing? Are you just, are you just shoving I'm it? Checking shoving their, I'm checking their stomachs and belongings for legs. What? <laughs> He's missing a leg. Where do you think it is? Uh, but it, wouldn't it be like digested by now? That nah, takes a while to, you know. Digest. Yeah, I don't really know enough about about. Uh, I mean, if you could get. Swallowed by like a purple worm, hang out there for a few rounds and cut your way out. I'm sure the leg is fine. Here's that. Also, I mean, like, because some animals, like, they don't digest for, like, uh, elephants, for example, and cows. Well, we, but we don't, don't we don't know exactly when his leg got bitten off, though. He said uh, like, it, he it had to be recently. He still wasn't dead. Is that too? I, I'm saving this man's leg. He's gonna walk again. All right. Well, I'm all for blood and gore. I help with cutting out the stomachs. Um, yeah. Do Do they have anything on them of value? Maybe a leg. Someone who made it. Who's uh, decided to search them? I, I did. What are you talking about? I told I. Hey, I did say I went through their belongings as well, looking for another leg. He did do that. Yeah. He did yeah, that. I know, but. All right. So, yeah. I mean, I would assume I'd find other stuff along the way, but. There you go. Look at that. Look how good I am. Searching stuff. I um, I'll let me give you I'll give you guys your treasure first. And well, then I'll talk to you about searching the light. Yeah, yeah, I, I accidentally misclicked oh, I accidentally misclicked away from the away from roll twenty. Okay. I didn't um, care. It's annoying. I I'm ready to input stuff in party loop. Go. Then you reach your camp. When you get to the camp, you see, um, this is just a basic thing I did, I'm not going to go far out on it, but you see 
hundreds of orcs basically preparing for war. You see um, siege weapons. You see large amounts of weapons and armor being gathered. Uh, and basically the entire camp is prepping for war. <laughs> okay. Um. As you approach the camp, you see two large orcs standing in front of what looks like some form of entrance. And as you approach, they stop you and say, "What do you want?" Are they are they speaking common or orc? Common. Yeah, I don't know work, so. <laughs> I I know work, so. The one of us does. <laughs> so I'm, I just I, I guess I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say hello. You just gonna say hello? Um yeah, I just it, it, for now yes. The two guards look at each other, confused. Head they don't speak orc. They switch to orc. What do you and your, they kind of look at, uh, nothing and Salem, your friends want? I asked the orcs, um, if they know anything about the disease. I described the disease. We have, we have someone afflicted with this that is back at our camp. Make a, make a sense motive check. Boom! I don't know how better than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> you notice both orcs go pale, and you can tell that they are very scared. Oh, you want to talk to our shaman, Tyke. I'll go get him for you. One of the orcs leave. The other orc just kind of sits there, or stands there awkwardly, kind of nervous. Now you guys trying to say anything? Gonna be a few minutes. I I ask uh, when when is the uh, campaign going to begin? We march soon. As soon as they get past the loading screen. <laughs> we begin our march in ten days and war shall begin six days after. Okay. Make a intelligence check, everyone. Huh. I did not expect that. You guys know that in 16 days is the beginning of the new month. Does this have any significance? I don't know. Does it? Uh, orcs get paid on the first. <laughs> well, I pay my orcs. Alright. A few months later, the other uh, other guard returns to his post, followed by a, another orc who's very thin. He's got blue eyes, brown hair, and unlike all the other orcs you've ever seen, he has a hint you see intelligence behind his eyes. So you're the ones who. Hey, I'm offended by that. Yeah, that's an insult to my mother. <laughs> okay. So you're the ones who come seeking aid for the disease. I'm not sure what to call it, but yeah. yes, mm -hmm. I have never encountered this type of disease before, nor met anyone else who has. It was hopeful that we heard that perhaps you 
had to had uh, luck in fixing it. Yes, we have encountered this disease is rather new. It has been afflicting us for the last five years. And for whatever strange reason, it is immune to magic. Now, I can possibly make a potion. However, I'm missing one ingredient. And what's the ingredient? The dried flesh of a corpse. That's, you can just kill an orc, dude. <laughs> wow. No, you misunderstand. The flesh has to be dried as it preserved. So, this is what you do. You kill an orc, cover him with salt, you bury him in the ground. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I show him my point to one of the orcs. I was like, that guy, right over there. Bring him over here. I'll show you how this works. I mean, I mean does, it, does, it, does it need to be an orc? Can't it be an animal? It needs to be any creature. However, the time it takes for the flesh to reach the state of preservation required for the potion can only be found in the tombs under the capital. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I see the problem now. Mm. Um. What else do we need to bring? That is what it. else do we need to make the potion, and how do we make it? I will take care of the rest of that. I have all the other ingredients on hand. However, the preserved flesh of the dead is the only thing I require. Well, given that your camp is about to go to war, perhaps it would be best if you teach us what we need to do and provide us with what we need to get or tell us what we need to get and I so that way we can make it ourselves. We leave, we march on the city in 16 days. It takes five to get there. No, sorry. <laughs> it takes three to get there. Four from this camp. You have plenty of time to go to the city, find one of the burial crypts, take some flesh, and return. Before the war starts. Unless the war starts earlier. The war will I mean, start earlier. Okay. <laughs> This is part of our tradition for the last 5,000 years. Yeah, you guys should come up with better traditions. Just saying. Well, you know, maybe do something more productive. Build, build houses instead of huts. You know. War is our nature. Get, get is a what, real job. War is what sounded is what our great ancestor founded the city on. Uh, like a... I go, nah. I, I know history better than you. I explained to him what really happened. That is what really and happened. I, and I make sure uh, I twist minor facts to sound like I'm right. <laughs> You can't because you know he's right. Sure I can. See? <laughs> he doesn't believe you. What? Well, this guy has a check, I guess. <clears throat> if there was nothing else you need, I must return to preparations for a war. No, no wait, I, I, I have a question for you. Yes? So, un unrelated to the potion thing, I was wondering if you've ever heard of any sort of legend or story or what have you where an, where an orc would, would be, would be, would be, would be, orc spirit or something of the sort would be standing, 
standing in the distance watching over someone or something to that effect. I honestly did not expect you to ask that here. I didn't... Wow. I... I have to give you... Give it to you, Sorka. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Pat turns to you and says, Oh, you must be referring to the... Temple of Ancestral Paragon. Oh, that oh, that that sounds interesting. It it may it may it may be the the, le the legend that, that I've been that I've been searching for. Tell me more. Well, the orc you see is the paragon of your trade. Hmm. Until not everyone is able to see him, and not everyone will see him during when they are able to. However, mm. when you are strong enough, your ancestor will come to you and give you a hint on where to find the temple. Hmm. Alright. I guess I'm just, I'm just sort of like, I'm, I, I pr I'm just probably just sort of like si silently like like in soaking that in and stuff. I don't. I don't know if I have a really, really have a response to that yet. I do not know what the hint is to find the temple. However, I do know the temple only appears once a day. On sorry, one day per year. If you do not, if you do not find the temple on that day, you have to wait another year to find the temple. Well. Thank you, thank you very much. That, 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 that this information helps me greatly. There is one other thing you should know. The temple is a challenge. If you go there and challenge your ancestor, you only get one chance. Mm. But that is all I know. Walks off. Hope everyone enjoyed this episode. Please like and subscribe for more. Be sure to come check me out on Twitch every Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to see the session live. Link will be in the description. With that said, I'll see you all next episode.